So guys, I am back with another Power World video and today guys, I asked the question of what happens if you breed two shinies together? Well, today guys, we find out. But before we go any further, I'm giving away a couple of copies of this game. Xbox, PC, it doesn't matter. If you win and you play on Xbox and you don't have Game Pass, I'll purchase Game Pass for you. Now, to be with a chance of winning for yourself or even a friend that wants to play with you, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you're subbed. With those notifications turned on, winners will be announced on Sunday evening. And to be honest, how generous I feel, I may pick four winners instead of two. We will see, guys. Okay, so, reading is a massive part of this game. I mean, an absolute massive part of the game. I'm having a ton of fun with it. You can see I've got all my egg incubators here, guys, all lined up. Ah, well... I had a question of what actually happens if you breed together two shinies. I've looked online, I've not seen anybody else try this and I thought well it's probably for good reason because how hard is it going to be to catch a male and female of the same and I'm talking about of the same uh, pal here guys, not of random pals, of the same pal. Will I get a, a, a shiny baby? Well luckily I got lucky guys. I actually have two of the same pal of shinies. And they're right there. Male and female got fins. And the worst thing is these were together. How lucky is that? Well, not together. They were on the same beach, kind of. Uh, probably about 100 yards apart. I thought, no way. And I've got two of the Lambos, but they're both female. You can't breed females, people. Not a little bit of scissor action on this game. But yeah. So we're going to breed them and see what happens. We're going to breed them and see what happens now. Uh, I've got my cakes. Have I got enough cakes? Let me just double check this. Yes, I've got enough cakes. Plenty of cakes. Okay, so let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to have to um, remove this. Let's remove you two for now. Okay, so I actually arranged all of my powers as well, which I didn't realize you could just go to sort, then click alphabetical, and then yeah. So keep that in mind. You can click on sort. Change it to alphabet. I actually sat here for about half an hour trying to arrange them and I realised sort was here in the top corner. So yeah, put on sort, put it on alphabetical or element and it will arrange them for you, which is pretty cool. Okay, so there's one. Come here. Come here. You're actually bigger than you look in that picture. So let me put you there. Okay, you're assigned to breeding and let's see what happens when we chuck the other one in. Now, this is going to be very, very interesting. To be honest, probably nothing's going to happen. I doubt I'm going to get any kind of shiny baby or anything in particular. Now, in regards to the power stats, I haven't done a lot of experiment in regards to trying to get these powers uh, boosted levels. I've just been trying to do other things. Yesterday, I went out and farmed enough metal to redo my entire base in metal. So, we'll bring you an updated video on that. And if you're looking at my base for the first time, you can see it. Um, this is actually going to take about two or three minutes to breed them so i'll just quickly give you a quick tour if you ain't seen my base already uh, but i'm actually in the starting area the very first starting area you can see on the map right here there's the very first fast travel point guys I'm right next to it because this area initially has got plenty of stone plenty of berries plenty of trees for that wood so i thought you know i'm just gonna set up here and i just made it bigger and bigger and i just like the place so yeah i got a few bases out in the open world for me to farm materials so i ain't got to worry about that either so i can just bring them back here straight away okay so this is a start you can see I got my farm up there, not my farm, sorry, my um, allotment up there. Where I'll get all my plants, my crops and all that. They take them straight down to the feeding box, which is right there. And I can transfer it to the fridge behind for, for, if, I, if I need to. Okay, so let's go to my building. You can see here I have my kitchen. I have my two uh, forges or grill. What are these called again? I can't remember. Furnaces, so that's it. We have my fridge there. I've got my repair station, my saddle maker. A few metal uh, chests with like certain items in all nicely arranged people because that's what you gotta do you gotta keep things nice and simple and putting things back here as well the powers more or less uh don't put random things in there because i got closer storage boxes to where they will well them farm so obviously certain things that they will farm certain things that the ranch that will drop they'll drop them in the closer storage boxes if that's what i need to here we have my uh, assembly line two we have my assembly line two again weapon and just general items and we have my sphere making system and then we'll go upstairs quickly because you can see what a uh, condensation we got my hot tub my generator over there this is the master bedroom 
for all the master pearls, as you can see right here. My bedroom. Okay, so you can go upstairs if you want to. You can go out around my balcony. Is he just going to list everything? Yep, going to list everything out there. Pretty cool. If you didn't see that, you'll see it right here. They're sleeping up there. Ladies. Oh, yeah, it's night time. That's probably why. There we go. My light on the side, which lights up the entire base. Around here, we go up. You can go up to this room from the outside too. And we have just where I do the login, the stone with a box in the middle. Just like so. And then we can go up again. I've made this bigger so the bigger ones can get up here. And we have just like a a spa. A spa for my powers. Pretty cool. And I put that there because I, at the time when I was building this, I got over encumbered and I just put it there and I haven't moved it yet. So yeah, it's a bit lazy. Uh, might go up again yet. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. I do not know. So yes, this is the way you get in from the outside. So you can go around this way. There you go. Straight there. Simple as that. Actually, like, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I was going to say, I missed the floor there, but I didn't. I didn't miss no floor. Oh, shit. Have they stopped breathing there? Haven't they? Have I got to go to sleep? Oh, my life. I'm an idiot. I am an absolute idiot. Let me go back to bed. Let me go back to bed. And what I'll do, guys, is I'll actually cut the video. I forgot it was night time. I forgot powers go to sleep. So I'm an idiot. Now, for those that want to see an overhead view of my base, you can see it right here. This is going to look so cool when it's all in metal. Now, hopefully, the metal reflects a light. I'm going to put a lot of light in there. So, yeah. But we'll see, guys. We will see. Now, I actually thought about this in regards to breeding these shinies. Do you remember Hogwarts Legacy and the taming of the shiny beasts? I tried it in that game. And when you bred them, nothing actually happened. Um, to be honest, I don't think anything's going to happen here. But considering how deep the thought about this game in regards to brooding, there could be a couple of things that we're missing out on. And hopefully brooding the baby is one of them in regards to shinies. Will that baby come out shiny? That would be pretty cool. I doubt it's, nothing's going to happen though, people. I'm just getting overexcited for nothing. But this is something that should definitely look into. If you capture a male and female of the same shiny baby, it should definitely offer you something. And there we have it. There's a little egg. Let's go and see. A little damp egg, actually. Let me just move these because they're going to keep continue on breeding and eat away my cakes. So, yeah, let's just do this. Let me just put you in my shiny section, just like so. There we go. Okay, so let's go and have a look at what we get from this egg. Now, my eggs incubate instantly because I ain't about waiting. There we go. So, let's see. Let's see. Is this going to be a shiny or not? Do you get shiny babies? A Godfin was born, obviously. We got Godfin, yeah, we know that. Let's go and have a look at my power box. Uh, so where is that gone? Oh, no, it's in my inventory. Okay, so it's in my inventory. <gasps> no, it's just a little baby. No shine to it or nothing. Now, in regards to its stats, you guys can help me out here. Uh, Two in watering, one in uh, handiwork, one in transporting. Nothing's changed there. Attack, defense. It's not bad, I guess. I mean, it would be better than level one parents, obviously. But it's hard to really see that now because they've all been leveled up. But yeah, guys, if you thought anything special happens when you breed two shiny powers, it doesn't as a weird know right now. Unless I miss something. Kind of, kind of obvious, but you guys can scream that at me in the comments section. So don't worry about breeding two shinies together now. Hopefully in the future they figure something out and do something about it. But there we have it, guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more power, wood, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.